Lisa Peskin, and I'm the CEO and founder of Business Development University, a sales training, coaching, and consulting company. Sales is my passion, and after working for 30 years in sales and working with thousands of salespeople, I've come to realize success in sales is a function of three areas. The first one is filling your pipeline with good qualified prospects on a consistent basis. So that includes maintaining your existing customer base, upselling and cross-selling your existing customer base, and then finding some net new prospects coming into the pipeline. We know how someone's doing in this area based upon their pipeline and what their level of their pipeline is. The second area of success is process. Once you've got a suspect or prospect in front of you, what's the process that you take them through? That goes from running an effective first meeting, gathering key information, presenting your solutions, handling any objections, and closing the business. I know how someone's doing here based upon their close ratio or win ratio, which is number of quotes or proposals to number of sales. If the number is south of 30%, then I know that there's some tweaking that needs to be done with the sales process to increase that close ratio. But the last area of sales success when it comes to being really great in sales is this and this. It's attitude and motivation, and I consider this half of the battle. Am I willing to do what it takes to be successful? Am I committed to doing it? Day in and day out, week in and week out, month in and month out. I say, why wouldn't everybody in this whole wide world get into sales? You make unlimited amount of money, you get to make new people, meet new people all the time. But the fact of the matter is, if you're the average salesperson, business to business sales, you're gonna get seven no's to every three yeses. The yeses are a whole lot of fun, but the no's are not easy to deal with psychologically. And the other thing is, the other in sales, we never get to go like this. We never get to go, we're only as good as our last month, our last quarter, and our last year. So to be successful in sales, you've not only got to be willing to do what it takes to be successful, but you've got to be committed to doing it. Day in and day out, week in and week out, month in and month out. I hope these tips are helpful for you in your sales career and hope you help you to be successful in sales. Thank you very much.